Welcome to Time Check, your source of information about watches. Today, we will be reviewing a watch piece from Tissot Heritage Line, the Tissot Heritage 1936. Tissot 1936 is a reinterpretation of watches from the era where in pocket watches are converted into wrist watches, with lugs filled that at the case. These were common during the early 20th century, especially at the time of World War I wherein soldiers offer a hands-free timepiece. These in turn contribute to the decline of pocket watches. This timepiece from Tiso was unveiled last by Silver World 2016, and it was one of the most stock watches from that event. It has two variants, the 45mm, sporting a manual wind eats a unitas movement, and the 36mm with an automatic movement supposedly designed for the ladies. You heard that right, 45 millimeter. Some might scream already because of the big size, but let's get past through it. The lag width is measured at 20 millimeters. However, the stack strap given has a dimension of 18 millimeters. The thickness is around 13 millimeters, which is considered a pretty thick one. The crown is an onion type with an embossed letter T on the side. I found the crown very convenient, especially when you wind the watch. The lug to lug width is approximately around 15 millimeters. The dial has a two-tone color with the vintage Tissot logo commonly used at their heritage pieces. The brocade style Arabic numerals were crisp and sharp. The case is fully polished and the glass is made of sapphire crystal both front and back sides. The movement of choice is a manual wound ETA 6498, which was originally sold as a pocket watch movement. What I really like about this watch is the hunter style case back, which you can engrave or personalize and might be a heirloom piece in the future. I honor Tissot for bringing this watch, but if given a chance to redesign it, I will give this watch a bluish color for the hands. Just like this one, the inspiration for the Tissot Heritage 1936. And if they can reduce the size for the chance variant, keeping it at 40 to 42 mm range, it will be more fine. And if you have a small type of wrist, 6.5 inches to be exact, but it really doesn't feel it that large. The price for this watch at the time of release was at 995 US dollar. I bought this watch at around 600 US dollars in Dubai during their shopping festival event. It is every December until January. They offer this halfback scheme into some of their watches. You can visit their online shop on the given link below. The alternatives. So I will be giving four choices to choose for if you want the same style for a watch. The first one is the Orient Bambino sub seconds. A good looking watch. If budget is an issue for you, I recommended this one. The second one is from Hamilton, the Kaki Field Navy Pioneer. It has a dimension of 40mm case size with an automatic movement. If you are a purist, the date window at the 3 o'clock position will scare you away. Nonetheless, the style is the same as the Tissot 1936 without the exhibition case back. Moving on to a higher price point, the Longines 1918. It has a dimension also of 40 millimeters, an H loom at both hands and Arabic numerals, and also the date window given at the 6 o'clock position. And lastly, the Oris 1917. Little fun fact about this watch. Oris believed that their first pilot's watch was the B-crown of the 1938. However, a recent discovery has been made that will change their story. They had found into their archives that a certain pocket watch, the Louis Blairot airplane, was engraved into it. Louis was the first man to fly across the English Channel in 1909. The researchers also found its first wristwatch dedicated to the aviation. Hence, the Oris 1917 was made. Explore more about watches here at Time Check Channel.